Welcome back. Nigeria's aviation sector has uh, been rocked with withdrawal of services by uh, two scheduled carriers. But beyond the withdrawal of services by scheduled carriers, the entire local aviation sector may be in for a shutdown if operations over steady loss of operations rather over the steady loss of fleet capacity that has made uh, the scheduled reliability near impossible. Now, findings by The Guardian, uh, which they put out in a publication recently, showed that eight active airlines are currently operating a cumulative 38.77% of fleet capacity, with a total of 60 out of 98 listed airplanes grounded. If you look at that, you do the mathematics, if 60 out of uh, 98 listed airplanes are grounded, then it therefore means that only 38 of them are active. These are grounded pending the availability of foreign exchange earnings to defray maintenance costs. It was also lent uh, that most seats on the busy Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt, Kano, and Kaduna routes were available, uh, where available rather, were sold for between 76,000 naira and 100 naira for one way economy seats and round trip, trip tickets uh, ranging between. 140,000 naira and 190,000 naira, depending on the route, the airline, and the time of purchase. It's quite a dire situation, you'll agree. Uh, Isaac Balami is the CEO of Seven Star Global Hangar and Airlines, and he's our guest this morning as we take a look at this. Uh, Mr. Balami, welcome to the breakfast. Thank you for having me, sir. All right. Is it just good, a, morning, you. good morning to you? Is it just an issue of a uh, scarce forex? and the high maintenance cost as a result of uh, the forex situation. Do we have more going on? What can you say about the fact that 38 out of 98 aircraft, which in itself is even not enough, are grounded? So uh, basically, to say it's a function of um, forex, of course, which led to the rise in the cost of aviation foil. Um, usually aviation foil, you know, costs about 40% of your operating cost. But today, in most cases, you see that um, aviation foil is costing uh, even above 100%. So sometimes the airlines just basically uh, try to sell tickets just to buy foil. Uh, that is why you see the airlines struggling with salaries of their workers, that is why you see the airlines struggling with cost of maintenance because they can't even access the forex at the CBN exchange rate. They can't even afford um, to pay their bills. You know, the catering is there, the maintenance is there, the training every six months, they must send the pilots overseas. So there are so many factors, there are so many variables that is leading to that and it's, and it's not a good thing at all. All right. Uh, um, so this is, is, is this what's directly impacting on the, the cost of uh, the flight tickets? Because, I mean, uh, there's, there's an airline whose name I don't mention. If I want to travel to my, to my Port Harcourt, like we say in Nigeria, uh, I don't want to spend too much money. I go to this airline. Um, they have green in their logo and in their name. And you find that you can get it for, for uh, a low buck. You know, though you have to fly late at night, but you go for cheap. Now, these guys are now charging 80,000 naira. I can't believe it. 80,000 naira. To be very, very honest with you, sometimes, um, you see, it's a tough situation. And, and I believe not just for the aviation sector, but for the country at large. You will agree with me. Let's take the Boeing 7374 example, where... Most times you spend between 3.5 to 4 million naira to fuel your aircraft for just one hour flight. Now you do the calculation. Sometimes you think that uh, the airlines have full load factor in terms of filling up all the seats, right? But it's not like that. If you take the average, sometimes during weekend, you know, they fly full, early week, maybe midweek, but most days and sometimes one aircraft does a minimum of six landings sometimes eight landings or more and uh, at the end of the day if you calculate how much let's say they have 60 to 70 percent load factor averagely they can't even pay for their costs 
So the only way is to push that cost to the passenger. And that is where, uh, you know, we've been calling and you heard the Minister of Aviation say it clearly, that he's trying to intervene to see how the government can support the airlines. And uh, I think um, that is required immediately. All right. So now talking about solutions, um, uh, since the only thing that can be done, you know, government intervention, intervention to support the airlines, um, what else can be done? And if this intervention is the only way, how exactly would you advise it be done? I think for now, the government just has to find a way to subsidize. Uh, to my own thinking, in fact, between seven to 800 Naira, the foil need to come down to as low as maybe 400 Naira for the airline to actually survive. If that intervention can come in every quarter, then at the end of every quarter, we review it fine before the dollar issue is looked into. Another issue also is we hope that uh, the Dangote refinery, because our local refineries that can produce jet A1 have been vandalized decades ago. And uh, I don't think any, anything has been done by previous government to sort that out up to date. So it's a major problem uh, where a serious problem here. And I just hope that uh, the only word for the uh, public to actually uh, feel less of the pain is for government to intervene on the Jet A1 so that the airline owners can afford this Jet A1 and also pay for cost of maintenance and other operating costs. Uh, is there a way, is that something that could have been done by the aviation minister um, and the federal government at large to have prevented this situation degenerating to this point? I don't think there's anything that anybody can do because this is a failure of, of leadership. What a shame that uh, since independence to date, we have not been able to put a framework in place to produce our own foil. Even petrol, kerosene, uh, diesel is being imported. We have uh, um, refineries, but they're not working. We, have, we, we sell crude oil to the whole world, but we export the raw materials and the important refined product. So I think we need to have uh, more serious people to deal with our affairs to see how we can plan for the future. Otherwise, I don't even think our children and our unborn children even have a future anymore. And uh, the only way out is to stop complaining and go back to work. All right, all right. I want to thank you very much for your time, uh, uh, for joining us on the program this morning, Isaac Bellamy. And of course, uh, we look forward to having you subsequently as uh, we continue to monitor uh, the state of the aviation sector in the country. Um, he is uh, the CEO of Seven Star Global Hangar and Airlines, uh, and he's joined us live from Abuja. Isaac, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for having me. Bye. Up next, uh, we discuss some more issues right here uh, on The Breakfast. Uh, Minister of Communications and the Digital Economy, Issa Pantami, is against the federal government's new tax on phone calls and data in the telecommunications sector. We'll look at that with our guest when we return.